With what we've covered so far, we can build a black hole. This one is spinning rapidly with a minimally accruing accretion disk. That makes it occur black hole without jets. It's modeled after the black hole Gargantua in the movie Interstellar. We start with the black hole's shadow. The Kerr metric shows that light can be captured in stable orbits outside the event horizon. For a rapidly rotating black hole, the orbital volume around the black hole would be significant. This would produce a photon sphere shell encasing the black hole. This thin ring represents the cross section of this shell we'd see because of light that leaks out in our direction. It is flattened on the left because light rotating with the black hole's rotation can get closer to the horizon than light rotating against the black hole's rotation. Next, we see a dense sprinkling of stars with a pattern of concentric shells. This is the pattern produced by the gravitational lensing. Further out, we see the dislocation of star positions due to the bending of light by the gravity of the black hole. This black hole has the remnants of an accretion disk that is no longer feeding the black hole. If the disk were not gravitationally lensed, the black hole should have looked like this. Note that it is brighter on the left, where the matter is moving towards the viewer. This is due to relativistic beaming. But because of gravitational lensing, the massive amount of light rays emitted from the disk's top face travel up and over the black hole, and light rays emitted from the disk's bottom face travel down and under the black hole. This combination gives us the full image of how the black hole would actually look.